Everyone irrespective of who you are has experienced headaches or fevers in your lifetime. Usually, our first point of call is to take in paracetamol to cure ourselves. Paracetamol has become a very popular first aid drug. But the question is, do we know how this drug substance was discovered? Paracetamol or acetaminophen commonly known as para, has quite an interesting history. As common to drugs discovered in medieval times, the therapeutic effect of paracetamol was discovered merely by a clinical accident. Paracetamol was first synthesized by Harman Northrup Morse by the reduction of nitrophenol with tin in glacial acetic acid in 1873. However, paracetamol was not used medically then. In the 80s of the 19th century, Arnold Chan and Paul Hepp both doctors at the University of Strasbourg mistakenly dispensed acetanilide instead of naphthalene into a patient to treat intestinal worms. They, however, noticed that the drug substance instead of eradicating the worms rather lead to a decrease in body temperature. The two young doctors quickly published their findings and acetanilide was introduced on the market under the brand name antifebrin as an antipyretic drug. An antipyretic drug is simply a medication that reduces fever a common example being aspirin and ibuprofen. Acetanilide however could not stand the test of time due the high level of toxicity associated with it. Consumption of the drug leads to methemoglobinemia a condition in which there is less or no distribution of oxygen to the tissues of the body due to elevated levels of methemoglobin leading to shocks, seizures, or even death. Due to this problem, there was a need for research to the conducted to discover less toxic derivatives of acetanilide. Harman Northrup had earlier synthesized phenacetin and n aminophenol and were therefore the compounds under study. A German pharmacologist by name Joseph von Mehring performed the first clinical trials with the two derivatives. Joseph von Mehring, however made a wrong conclusion that phenacetin was much safer to use as compared to paracetamol. It was later discovered that prolonged use of phenacetin leads to analgesic nephropathy. Fortunately, this error was corrected later in 1948 when Bernard Brody and Julius Axelrod revealed that acetaminophen was the main active metabolite form from acetanilide and phenacetin. They demonstrated that this active compound was responsible for the analgesic action and that methemoglonemia was caused by another chemical compound. Paracetamol was introduced on the market by McNeil Laboratories in 1955 as an antipyretic and analgesic drug. Tylenol was the first trade name derived from the chemical name N-acetylaminophenol. Today, paracetamol has become a household name for painkillers sold under many brand names such as Panadol, Panalex, Panamax, Paramol, and many others. So the next time you take in paracetamol remember the great works of scientists who have made this possible. In our next session we talk about the metabolism, therapeutic action and possible side effects of paracetamol.